Hello and welcome to the Stock Planner channel. This morning I'm going to produce a quick little video on trying to figure out what I'm going to trade today. Today I'm going to be on the road. I'm going to be at the airport most of the day and I'll have to do my trading from my cell phone. So I need to be prepared now. I want to remind you that the Stock Planner channel is an education channel. We're sharing some ideas. I'm just showing you how I get prepared and that this day's preparation is, is quick, kind of quick. Now, in October, I have a downward bias, and I'm not Notre Dame or anything like that, predicting anything about it. I just feel that based on our infrastructure bill and the spending bill not going through Congress and uh, the fact that I don't believe, I don't have any faith in the, in our government at, at all to be able to handle this problem. We have the COVID situation still yet. We have our supply chain where our ports are backed up. We have the immigration issues. We have our loss of importance and faith are based on our Afghan Afghan withdrawal. Other countries just don't respect us anymore. We got the China situation where their housing company, Evergreen, a construction company may go under. China's also having power issues, power su supply issues. I think they can't get coal and they're not producing the power. Anyway, there's a lot of things that going on and i just don't think see anything that's that's positive positive. and apparently on monday a lot of people didn't see anything positive either i think the stock market is just going to grind down at least till the october 18th when they have to raise the debt ceiling or, or uh go bankrupt the government go bankrupt anyway the big boys look red amazon utilities energy green all the indices ended up lower yeah, energy and utilities performed the best. You can see that on the, on the heat map. And energy has had a good month. The technicals are not having such a hot time. Even Telsa, with a very optimistic report reporting yesterday where they are still delivering vehicles under adverse conditions, the ship shortage. And you always want to invest in a company that can do well in adverse conditions. It didn't do so well yesterday either. Looking at the indexes this morning, on the daily chart, in trading view, I was looking at Euro. Um, and I don't do a lot of Forex, but once in a while I'll do the Euro. I can understand the Euro. All those other, other ones I just don't understand. There's the rut. Looking at it from the week, the last four weeks it has been trending down. The Dow, the last four, five, six weeks has been trending down. NASDAQ, same thing. Down, and so is the S&P 500 drilling out to the daily we're seeing a little green today green 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 slightly this morning it's about seven o'clock but only a little bit green and in again i can't predict what's going to happen today the stock market go up a little bit or down a little bit but i think it's going to continue grinding down to the to this level here at least looking at the spy which i'm trading right now and i have a short and it's profitable. I do believe we're going to get to the 400 level right in this area here. What do you think? Leave your comments below. Again, I have a negative bias for October, an overall positive bias for the decade. Telsa opened up way higher based on that report of deliveries and then dropped throughout the day. Still ended up positive for the day. Microsoft, as we've seen, Apple and Facebook. Yeah, Facebook had that outage yesterday, plus they have some bad reporting the day before. So it is definitely, definitely lost some, some ground. CRISPR, Twitter, CRISPR, all down. These are all stocks that people play. I have a free Discord chat under Stock Planner where I post some of my ideas. This list here is based on three different indicators the macd the rsi and the stochastic rsi when they all occur and give an up up single within about three or four bars of each other i get a buy and these these stocks have been down based on the stock market going down and it's my algorithm written in omni broker is showing that they're going up there's that list omni broker here's amd here's the RSI, the stochastic RSI, and the MACD. 
when the MACD is below the zero and the RSI, stochastic RSI is coming around, and so is the RSI, I get a buy signal. I get a buy signal right there. Now, I still think it's still pretty early yet, but I got a buy signal. Cat, Caterpillar, saying it's a buy. Deer, John Deere, they a lot of times work together. And it, if the infrastructure bill passed, these two would, will do good. Disney, Intel, which I'm a strong believer in, and INTC, the largest chip producer. Now, of course, a lot of these are being produced in China. But as far as revenue, INTC is still number one or number two. Microsoft, been beaten down. Here's your RSI coming around. Stochastic RSI and the MACD. I like, I like Microsoft. But I don't think the techs are going to be beat down in October. So buying is on the definite horizon. Could be this week. But I still think there's some down downward for the techs. And this is U.S. Steel. Is it ready to go up? Or is there going to be some some headwinds yet? Been just hanging around. Anyway, that's my list. And it, when all three of these things, when the MACD is below the zero, the stochastic as came around and the RSI's come around all within two or three bars we get a single and that single is usually good for two or three or four days this setting is based on the daily and I'm taking long and shorts back on the discord chat this list is based on the zigzag not knowing what it's doing in other words the zigzag has changed regime it was going down and now it's going back up and it's based on waiting about two bars after that zigzag's changed because you really can't ch trade on the zigzag. A lot of people trade on fractals, which is which what the zigzag is. And a fractal, the setup, you need two two on one side, a change bar, and then two on the other side going the other way. I don't know what a fractal is, look it up. But that's what a zigzag is, a fractal. And you can, if you wait two bars to see if you have a valid fractal, that's what this list is based on. The first stock I want to talk about is CRM. You can see that this is the weekly time frame. It has been steadily going up. This is Salesforce software company. And the job of swing trader is to get these swings. Again, this is a weekly chart. I'm a swing trader, so I tend to go out a little bit further. When we see that the zigzag does not know what it's doing. Zigzag does not know what it's doing right there, but we think it's going to go down. Here's your MACD, stochastic RSI, and the RSI all pointing down. So as a technical swing trader, I'm thinking it's going to go down for a few more de days or weeks, especially in the month of October. Coming out to the daily, and we see it's heading down. Drawing fibs. You can draw fibs on the weekly. I usually drew it on the weekly, but he had a, a very long run. And you have to ask yourself, is this stock going up here first or coming down here? And this gives you some areas to shoot for. Here's your 50%. I think it's definitely coming down there. Microsoft, very indecisive on this. Is it time to buy or is it coming down this way further? Let's scroll out to the weekly. Here's week peak. Zigzag doesn't know what it's doing. It thinks it's going down. That's when we like to take action. MACD. Stochastic RSI and the RSI all pointing down. Does this have some leg room down? According to the weekly, it does. Techs have been beaten up. All techs, I think they're going to be beaten up for the month of October. I'm a buyer for Microsoft. I'm a buyer for Microsoft. But I'm either going to wait or take a, a short short. In other words, a short for, for a few days only. What do you think? Are you a buyer for Microsoft or a seller? These next two stocks, Lululemon Athletica. Big drive up. And by the way, we're swing traders and we're trying to get these swings. And you can't use a zigzag because it looks to the future. The only, th only time I use a zigzag is to draw my fibs, to visually see this, and to use it to find indicators that predict. And I'm using the MACD and I have my setups listed below. And by the way, take the time to like and subscribe to this video if this is helping you. The stochastic RSI. And the RSI. This is Trading View, and it's free, and you can do this yourself. In fact, that's what I'm recommending. But anyway, the zigzag doesn't know what it's doing. That's when we like to take some action. It looks like it's going down. 
How far it goes, nobody knows. I'm not Notre Dame. That's down, down, down. Supply chain problems. Lulu gets most of its clothing from overseas, particularly around, I think it's 67% from China. So there's some supply chain issues. Our ports are backed up. Whether it's, you believe it or not, uh, I know every time I'm going to the grocery store these days, the prices are going up every single day. And they're blaming supply. And the last one I want to talk about, these last four here, by the way, are the ones that I'm looking at today. I'm not playing the whole stock market. I'm playing three or four or five stocks. If it looks like it's going to be a long day today, maybe I'll go for well, using my long list. Costco having the same problem, supply issues. Weekly, long drive up. This is a good stock. In the last two weeks, it's been going down and the zigzag doesn't know what it's doing. That's when we like to take action. Bum, bum, bum. I think it's going down the month of October. What do you think? What do you think of these last four stocks? CRM, Salesforce, Microsoft, Lululemon, and Cost, all as shorts for the month of October going down. I don't know how far, but I do think we're going to have a little pullback of about 10% month of October. We haven't had it yet. We're facing it today. The market looks like it might try to go up today. There's a little hint of green there for the S&P 500 this morning. Little hint of green over there. It's too early to tell whether it's going to go up or down, but certainly this week is going to be mixed. I see nothing on the horizon to change uh, or give some kind of positive back look to the market. Of course, Fed could step in. You don't know what is going to happen, but I'm negative for the month of October. Happy trading. Catch you on the flip. Please like and subscribe. Like what you're doing. Then if you like what you're doing, you can do it well. And I like what I'm doing. And I like sharing because when I'm sharing, I get peer review and my trading gets better. And my trading has been better and I've been profitable for the last few days. As long as the market goes down, I have a downward bias for the month of October. Okay, get out there and win. Make some money today.